everyone, Rosa Wynn here, and I'm here to basically give you my opinion of Animal Crossing Happy Home Designer, which, if you all remember, was released just about three months ago by Nintendo, the latest Animal Crossing game, yeah, the fifth game of the series, fifth, and I'm here to give you my opinion on it. There are plenty of videos out there of people playing, you know, their own personal diaries, and plenty of people, you know, giving their review. I didn't watch all of them. It's a lot. I didn't watch all of them, so I don't know exactly everything everyone said, but if they've been playing Animal Crossing since the beginning, with the original population growing, then I can pretty much guess, you know, the differences that they discussed within the videos. Um, but from what I've gathered so far, I don't think too many people liked Happy Home Designer. I think they were a little upset, most mostly because, you know, there's no exploration, there's no fishing, no bug hunting, you know, no museum for you to donate things to. You know, you, you basically live in an area about the size of the city in City Folk and New Leaf. And that's really about it. That's all you get to see, except for when you go to a specific animal's house, then you can pretty much see the animal's house and its yard. The amount of square, the, the amount of, what they call it? Land area. Yeah, that and the amount of land area that they take up. And that's all you see. Um, so, you know, I wasn't too happy about that myself. Um, I thought that basically it would be just like all the other Animal Crossing games, only except this time, probably by accident, you somehow get recruited to, be des to design animals' homes. So I thought it might be an accident like that, but no, in this case, you actually filled out an application and you change locations because you have a new job. Okay, that actually can work too. Um, hmm. But, I mean, I love designing. I'm very big on interior design and I like before and after things, be it a person's home or even a person's personal style. I love those kinds of shows, so I wasn't angry that Happy Home Designer was the way it was. Would I have loved to at least been able to design my own house? Yes. I mean, I, I thought that kind of went without saying, but from what I've played so far, I, I haven't designed my own house, and I'm a little like, why not? I'm the interior designer. Should not my house be an example? basically my portfolio of what I can do with houses. I mean, I, I thought that made sense. I mean, that's kind of how real life works. Right? But anyway, um, I think, you know, I think I know what Nintendo did with this. They kind of wanted to focus on just the design aspects, I guess to test some new features. I guess, I mean, who knows? This could have been some of the stuff that they were going to put into a new leaf, but ran out of room. Or wasn't sure how we, the players, would feel about these certain different design features. I mean, this is the easiest, easiest time to collect furniture. Design a new person's house, you get a whole nother set of furniture. No running around trying to, you know, be there for all these events and having all this money and hoping Tom Nook is selling that last piece of that theme furniture series that you're trying to get. But he never does when you want it. When you have the money for it. He never has that item you want. Never. And if you never owned the item before, you better hope you got some friends who got it. Who might can ship it to you a lot faster than Tom Nook will have it in stock. Besides that, um, I think it was a pretty good game. I think it was good. Considering, you know, I mean, to be honest, 
it's not redundant. I mean, there's, let's be honest, people, let's be honest. There's but so much you can do with a game like Animal Crossing. I mean, it's kind of like The Sims, just more so for kids. I mean, you live your life in a town surrounded by animals. How many different ways can you do that before it starts getting a little old? Before they might as well just make the GameCube version available for the Wii U and, you know, add the latest in a Wi-Fi connection. I mean, really, how, how many more times can they run this? It's like The Sims. The, the Sims has... Actually, I have no idea how many games exactly The Sims have. But I know that for the most part, The Sims, you have your... Well, no. Let, let me not lie. I've only played one Sims game. And that was Sims Castaway. And I know in that game, you create your Sim who falls overboard on a harbor and washes up on... At first, what you think is a deserted item, but it's not. And then you, um... I didn't get too, too far in the game. I know you, if you walk around enough times, you discover more of the island than your map and knowledge of the island gets so big because you end up discovering pretty much every place and you meet like 10 different people who also have been there apparently for a really, really long time because they've adapted. But, uh, yeah. But I've seen other people play The Sims and I did play The Sims game thing on Facebook so if that's any indication as to what The Sims is about I didn't play them all I kept telling myself I was going to but I yet to buy a Sims game like Sims 3 or whatever I've yet to buy one I will probably still one day do it I just I got so many other things going on but anyway but, but, but I'm getting off track here there's but so many different ways with a game like Animal Crossing, which basically is, you're a human, and you move to a brand new town, and when you get there, you realize it's a town full of animals. And they all talk. Now, I'm a Sonic gamer as well, so I'm used to having talking animals around me. So... I think I liked it even more when it first came out when I saw the commercial and he said how would you feel uh, being in a town where your neighbors a walrus and you go fishing with a rhino and I was like who the I was like oh that sounds like Sonic it made me think of Sonic back then yeah that, that was like 15 years ago wow it's been 15 years huh go figure and I remember everybody in my class was playing we were talking about exchanging memory cards back then. Actually, I think I did exchange memory cards with one classmate one time because they had apples and I had oranges. Or I had peaches. I think I had peaches and they had apples. And we switched memory cards so they could have fruit. I think they, they gave me theirs. I went to their town, grabbed some of their fruit, and then mailed my fruit over to them so that they could have it. It was great. Yeah. That was how we got that fruit back then. And so much so, I ended up having all the fruit and I never wanted to erase my file again. Because I had a fruit. But I think I got over it and then eventually erased my file and I am going off track again. I'm sorry people, I seem to do that a lot. Anywho, I think that considering the type of game that Animal Crossing is, which is basically a simulation game, Basically, I mean, that's its genre, simulation. There's both so many different ways you can do the same simulation game before it starts getting redundant. That's why they keep adding new things. The first one was the first one. First time they did it, they wanted to see how it was received very, very well. So they're like, okay, we're going to do the next one. In the next one, the one thing that's different besides being on a brand new system, so then it made it more 3D, and the world actually scrolls around and scrolls over as you walk around town. You can actually see like a hill, like, whew, 3D. They actually made it round. Like, it was obvious. It was round. And like in the first one, where everything just seemed flat. Not only that, but you, you, or 
all four inhabitants lived in one house. And it was the same house. Which means you all could work together to make the one house a really big house. Which I still have yet to do. Wild World was not my most favorite game. It wasn't. So I, I never bothered to make my house the mansion. I did, however, get my full house in population grown. Yay me. Wild World will be next. I will be complete and I will fully decorate them. Oh, maybe I'll share pictures. I'll take pictures of my house in population growing as well. I think I did something. I have to check. It's full of But anyway, um, in City Folk, they have the whole city thing on the other side. Actually, no, wait. I'm getting ahead of myself. City Folk, you take a bus to the city. So they add city, and that's where a lot of the extra shops are. And of course, these shops all have different functions, and they did that whole thing. Then in New Leaf, your mayor. What? Now with Happy Home Designer, you are an interior designer. You work for Nook Homes. Nook, Tom Nook, is your boss. And you design homes all day. Which, I think it's kind of fun. You get to, get to exercise your creativity. And... You could allow the whole world to kind of see how you interpret things. I mean, some things kind of go without saying. I mean, you make a convenience shop, a restaurant, a school. Anyone who's ever been to any of those things, I imagine we do similar things. But, I'm sure there's someone always has their twist. I mean, after all, what's the point of creating art if you don't leave your mark? Wow, there is major glare on my glasses. I apologize. Ooh, that glare is serious. Okay. Anywho, I think Happy Home Design was a good game. I have yet to do my diaries. I have yet to set up my system. But that's okay. I still will. In fact, I'm going to do it for all of them. I will. Uh, I don't know how long the video is going to be. It might cover more or less three months and some holidays if I can remember to do it. But I don't be remembering holidays now. I'm too busy. Yeah. I mean I have time off. But I still be too busy. I think I'm still high and I'm waiting for me What? What? Oh. Nothing. Anyway. Happy Home Design. I think it's a good game. And I think anybody who loves Animal Crossing will enjoy it for what it is. Maybe Nintendo will give us one more Animal Crossing game. After all, like I said, there aren't too many ways you can probably do this without it being redundant. Without them completely repeating themselves. Maybe one more. M maybe one more. I don't know what they're going to do. Uh, the bit block video suggests that we try to buy hot air balloons. Which would probably, hot air balloons or planes would be about the only other way we can travel. I mean, first we traveled by train. Then we traveled by cab. Then we traveled by bus. Then we traveled by Actually, there's a train here. Was that New Leaf? Can y'all tell I haven't played New Leaf in a little while? Please don't judge me. I'm very busy. I wish I could play more. I do. I want to play more. I want to play more! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That, that's not your fault. Sorry. Sorry. Um... If you guys hear a sizzling in the background, that's my heat coming up. My house room is boiling. I have rags. Radiators, for those of you who don't know what that is. And every time the heat comes up, it does a It's not a vacuum. It's not static. It's the heat. I need heat. I get cold. Anywho, 
I think Happy Home Designer was a good game. Did I say that already? I think I did. I was, oh, I saw my moles of travel. How did we travel? I nearly thought we walked. But you walk past a train track. So they bring back the whole train track thing. So they bring another train. Even though I think that one should probably count it more as a subway. But maybe it's not. Which is fine. So the next mode of travel I think should be in the sky. The bit block says perhaps hot air balloon. That or a plane, helicopter, I don't really care. Oh, <gasps> helicopter. And then again. Sorry, that's for a whole nother video. Sorry, 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 sorry. I think I'll make a video about my idea for the next Animal Crossing game. Hmm. Alright. I think that's enough of that. I think Animal Crossing Happy Home Designer is good. I will erase my file and start over so I can do the whole diary thing. And yeah. I will do that. And then you guys get to see some of my design skills. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I will take pictures of what I did now. So that y'all see it. So that y'all know what I did. And so that maybe I don't repeat myself. Ooh, something different. Of course, you can always redesign these animals homes. But I don't feel the need to do that. I just did it. Why would I do it again? Most people don't really change design their homes for six months. Sometimes five years. So why would I change these animal designs after like three months? Well, actually, three, three months is kind of a long time. But they only just start living in the middle. I still have a ton more houses to build. I didn't even fill up my animal log yet. Anyway. Okay, I think that's enough of my rambling. I think I kind of went off topic a few times. I'm very sorry. I get a little scattered brain dumb. These videos are unscripted. There. But you probably can tell. Anyway, I think that's enough. I think Animal Crossing Happy Home Desire was a good game. I think... I think you should play. I think you should give it a chance and you should play and you should remember that Animal Crossing is a simulation game and there are but so many ways you can do it before it gets redundant. Okay, anyway, I'm done. Sorry, it's like late night and I might be kind of sleepy, hence me acting a little cuckoo. <laughs> but I'm not tired. I probably should be tired, but I'm not tired. Okay, anyway, that's enough of that. Alright, love you all. Rosalind, out.